Huangpu River lie the warships of Britain and America and Japan to protect their nationals in Shanghai. The Japanese ships are the targets for the Chinese bombers, but the American cruiser Augusta was hit by an anti-aircraft shell. Japanese batteries are on the lookout for Chinese planes, and here they come, bombers. British Movie Tone News records in these first authentic pictures the actual scene at Shanghai as the bombs aimed at the Japanese warships miss their target but burst in the docks. Part of the waterfront held by the Japanese is wrecked. And there's havoc in the Japanese concession. Modern war let loose on Shanghai, the international settlement cannot escape the consequences of war as bombs and shells crash. The Cathay Hotel is hit, Shanghai's biggest hotel, crowded with guests, when a huge aerial torpedo strikes it. Another falls on the pavement outside. Death and destruction follow and a street panic as terrified people rush blindly in the vain search for safety. The bombing of the Cathay Hotel shocked the world, and these pictures have been rushed to the screen by ship and plane to portray with all the vivid truth of an eyewitness the senseless horror of war. And here's a big department store, another catastrophe of the first big battle at Shanghai. It was hit by shell fire in a wild duel of big guns, Chinese and Japanese, in Nanking Road, which runs from the famous Shanghai Bund. Casualties here in the busy centre of the shopping district were terrible. Under fire, the foreigners, mostly British and American, evacuate the settlement. They have their navies to help them out and take the women and children to safety. Only the men who must stay remain behind. Here are hundreds on their way to an American liner which will have to run the gauntlet of war in the Huangpu and the Yangtze before the war is left astern. But for the Chinese, there is no escape. The war goes on, though there has been no declaration of war. As the millions of China resist the might of Japan, thousands must suffer in a war for which they are not responsible.